So, what did Demiurge whisper to Albedo? Although it seems simple to say, the context behind it and the actions Albedo took afterwards led to a scene that became one of my favorite moments in the light novel thus far. Although it's season 4 and these moments were from volume 2 equating to season 1 of the anime series, I'm sure that those who are either Albedo or Naruto fans will be quite drawn to this moment. It all starts when Ainz wanted to travel to Urantel alone, all in order to learn more about the new world. But Albedo rejects, which I'm sure you know already. But what wasn't shown was how heavily Albedo had to protest that Ainz himself couldn't control, which ended with Demir having to whisper a few words which all of a sudden made Albedo calm down and comply. Ainz did agree to take a subordinate, but I think Albedo wanted to personally be with Ainz, which is why she put up her objections. Demir, knowing Albedo's true intentions, whispered, Shouldn't a good wife wait for her husband at home and mind the house in his absence? This is why whenever Ainz returns to Nazarik, Albedo is always there to greet him and sometimes even going as far as Anyways, I digress. The scene I'm talking about in particular happens after Narbo and Ainz had gotten a room at the inn. Once they both enter the room, Narwhal and Ainz has a conversation along the lines of Narwhal having a distasteful reaction to the room and how Ainz shouldn't stay in such an establishment. Then Ainz discusses his plan to further gain information about the new world. After this conversation, Ainz tells Narwhal to keep watch of the inn while he goes out since he wanted to investigate some grave. Here we learn that Narwhal doesn't have any thief skills to monitor the surroundings, and the only thing she could do is take out her bunny ears to listen. She was also tasked to do the daily report, meaning she had to contact Albedo and give her every detail on what Ainz was doing. Instead of summarizing the conversation, I'll read it to you. I promise the dialogue is very interesting. And I'll even add a bits of animation so you know who's speaking. Anyways, let's get started. After listening to the sounds around her, she made sure it was safe before casting the message so. As expected, a pleasant female voice spoke within her head. Naro Gamma is something the matter. Yes, this is the scheduled report. Naro was speaking to the guardian overseer of the great tomb of Nazri, Albedo. She described every detail of the situation to Albedo, and finally she mentioned the news that Albedo was dying to hear. Ainz mentioned you, Albedo. He said that there was nobody else he could trust apart from you. Khufu. <laughs> a strange cry of delight resounded within Narvel's head. Good, very good, Narvel. You're a good girl. Keep spreading that news for me. This is an order from Nazarik's guardian overseer. Narvel wondered, is this really worth an order? However, she realized that this might be a move in the struggle to better serve the Supreme One. Thus, such an order made perfect sense. Just as Norval was about to express her doubts, she heard Albedo's excited voice once more. I'll slowly decrease the distance between myself and Ainz while Shoutier is out on business. Although the objective is hard to breach, as long as I keep up the pressure and gain a beachhead, I'll be able to bring down one day. On that glorious day, Shoutier will weep bitter tears of regret. Albedo's cry of delight made Norval furrow her brows. That excited voice was starting to annoy her. With a voice that suggested she might burst into dance at any moment, Albedo continued babbling about what she would do next and how things had to be, and then suddenly she asked in a calm voice, Still, why are you helping me? Why did you choose me and not shout here? Could it be that you want something from me? The answer is simple. If someone asked me whether Albedo or shout here was more suitable to sit beside Ainz, I would definitely answer with your name, Albedo. Kufu. Wonderful, I didn't think you'd be able to see the future of Nazarik. I'm impressed. Also, Yuri has a hard time dealing with Shaltir. Oh, Yuri, I see, so that's how it is. Are any of the others on my side as well? The faces of the assistant leader, Yuri Alpha, as well as her other comrades appeared in Narval's mind. That is hard to tell. Lupus Regina is with you, Albedo, but Solution is on Shaltir's side. 
As for Entoma and Shizu, their allegiances are not known yet. Can Solution be won over? It would be very difficult because our tastes are very similar to Shaltier's. Oh, I see. What crude hobbies she has. Narwhal agreed with Albedo's words. She had no idea why Solution liked what she did, and she could not help but tilt her head in puzzlement. All of human beings are inferior life forms, with one exception. None of them had the hobby of tormenting humans. However, they would kill any humans who got in their way, even if doing so was tedious. That said, they would not go out of their way to kill them. Well, it can't be helped. Then move quickly and bring the other girls into my camp. Start with Entoma and Shizu. That should be fine. Solution and Entoma both like being humans. So if we bring Entoma to your side, Solution might end up becoming an ally as a result. That's right, I've got it. Then on to something else. Can you tell me in detail what my beloved Eins has been doing? Yes, I understand. The scheduled communication with Albedo ended up being very heated. When Albedo heard Narwhal and Eins were sharing a room, she made strange noises and kicked up a fuss, to the point where Narwhal had to recast the message spell four times. Eins was mildly annoyed when he returned, but that is a tale for another time. So yeah, because of what Demiurge whispered to Albedo, she became so diluted into doing this duty since it's what a wife supposedly does and gave up on trying to attend Ainz. We also learned that Albedo is trying to not only win Ainz through feelings, but tactically by trying to eliminate the competition. It's a shame that this scene was cut out from the anime since I'm sure a lot of people would have loved to see the interaction between Narble and Ainz. But, oh well. Yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching till the end, and have a nice rest of your day.